Ah, yes, yes. Sarah and I are looking for something reliable, you know, something that's going to last us through retirement, you know. I recall when, you know, James was still in Michael House and we'd head down from Parkhurst. Back then, you know, we had an, an old Land Rover, but, you know, I'm looking for something a little bit more refined, something that can really eat up the miles, you know what I mean? I mean, since James has moved to Cape Town, we need to get down there really quick, you know? I mean, Parkhurst to Newlands in 14 hours. I want a car that can really eat up those miles while staying reliable, you know what I mean? Once we're there, you know, space for the grandkids, little road trips from Newlands to Asa Fontaine. That's the sort of car we're looking for now as retirement comes on, you know. I've had a hard life. Hands have worked hard as a financial consultant and just want something easy. That's what I'm looking for. Absolutely. Well, at least, at least before James and, and the kids head off to Australia, you know. <laughs> Yeah, what's happening, gents? The year is 2052, and I am 64 years old, ready to retire. So I'm looking for a reasonable and reliable and comfortable and smooth SUV. I'm not going to buy a Land Rover or a Land Cruiser. I have no interest in overlanding, but I want to drive to places I've never been to before that, you know, uses tar roads, not off roads. So that's why I'm looking at this. The Mazda CX-5, and because I'm retiring, I'm prepared to spend 721,000 Rand on a very soft, brilliant, brilliant, and well-driving SUV. Yes, this is a car for an old man. That's exactly what it is. If you're looking for the mommy version of this car, get a cheaper derivative. This actually starts from 480,000 Rand. And for that, this feels well worth the money. This, however, is the top of the top of the top of the top. The 2.2 turbo diesel, the Akira, they call it. This, the outgoing CX-5, yes. By the end of 2022, Mazda will reveal a new CX-5. So are you prepared to buy it? You know, right now, maybe you should wait. But this is as good as it gets and it cruises unbelievably well it really really does 140 kilowatts 450 newton meters of torque and you sit back in this look at this 120 130 140 150 160 casual casual this is how you got to retire now the retiring man who considers this he knows something about the world that the rest of us don't. The most important fact that I want you all to know, it doesn't matter who buys it, and it doesn't matter. It does not matter for a moment what anybody else thinks. Because you get different types of cars you get rugged cars and cool cars and some are good looking some are not but this car this car is fine looking it really really is the tweaks to this face make it without a doubt the best looking soft SUV on the market and if you disagree, please do mention in the comments what you think is finer looking than this car. It really, really is a fine looking car. It's an odd word to use. It's not a word I use often, but it's just, maybe it's that sense of refinement and that sense of retirement that it has to it. It's like, it's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine what Mazda's gonna do to this car to make it better when that upgrade comes in terms of those looks. We've seen what the Touchon has done to what was a nice looking car and they've made it really interesting looking. How Mazda turns this interesting is going to be very, very interesting indeed.